Jerry Schaffer, The Bug Doctor, with PestCemetery.com, and you're in another Bug Doctor Minute. I wanted to take a, a moment today and talk to you about WDO inspections and when it's an infestation and when it's not. Well, it's pretty simple. The definition is in, on, or under the structure, and that covers even the smallest bit of evidence. You find one swarmer wing on a windowsill or a small exit hole in some drywall above a bathroom commode or something, that's considered an infestation. The only time that would be uh, null and void is if there are signs of a previous treatment, then that treatment, we would assume, has wiped that infestation out, as long as you don't find any live termites. This building I'm doing right now is an uh, inspection I did a couple of weeks ago, and I found just such in, um, evidence, and it classified, it is classified as an infestation because there is no other drill marks or a sticker saying it's been treated and here's the evidence. It doesn't look like much and a lot of times homeowners have a real problem when they see old evidence or evidence without live termites uh, but it still needs to be treated. And here's what I found. Down here on the sidewalk which is right next to the building uh, you can see all this termite mud. There probably was a box or a uh, pile of logs or something sitting, you can sort of see the outline of what was there. And what happened is the termites used this small expansion joint, came up and were searching along, probably eating on whatever cellulose material was stuck up against here, and then branched out. Well, the homeowner moved away, removed the debris or the box or whatever, but left all the old evidence. And that is classic definition right there of in, on, or under the structure. So, this structure here is considered to be infested because there is no signs of previous treatment and there's um, uh, no live termites to be for sure, but anyhow, uh, it does fall in the definition. So, when you're doing WDO work, that's what you need to look for and that's how you need to explain it to your customers. All right, this has been Jerry Schaffer, PestCemetery.com. You've been in another Bug Doctor Minute. Have a great day.